10 past 6 in the morning, track 5, Tohoku line, going to see some little critters. I want some breakfast. Have we come to see giant gorillas? I am slightly concerned because um, they just said, they pointed out I haven't got any socks or anything and they said that they, the foxes might bite my feet. So they said keep moving. That's encouraging, isn't it? I've got a um, do's and don'ts about foxes here. Cool, it really smells, surprisingly. God blimey. And my favorite is number 10. Most of them are pretty straightforward. Number 10, when the foxes get close to you, please step towards them to show dominance. Otherwise, they may bite you or piss on you. They haven't got the word urinate then. So let's have a look around. Shall we see what we've got here? Danger! Human being enters the cage of the fox. Pretty good hearing these creatures. Every now and again as I walk around I crunch on a stone or something and all the ones who appear to be asleep nearby all suddenly look up. Go, oh, it's just John and go back to sleep again. Good hearing. It is slightly odd because I think I'm the only human with them at the moment apart from a man who was fixing the fence. But I must say it's a lot safer than the crocodile park in Miri. What you haven't seen the crocodile park in Miri here. Yeah. It's a link, top right corner, there you go. Oh.
don't seem to be many very young ones here. Perhaps they keep the young ones separate from the adults because then the adults don't eat them or something. I don't really know. But um, it's, it's very it's strange. It's strange because, you know, in the UK I see the odd fox now and again. They're becoming easier to see because they're moving into the towns partly because their environment's disappearing and partly because um, it's easy to get food in the town. In fact, down our lane, there's a lady who buys chicken, calm down, mate, from Sainsbury's, cooks it for them, and then feeds, puts it out and feeds it to them. I thought I might dress up as a fox and go round there one day. I think that could work well. I thought about getting myself a fox suit and going round knocking on the door when I get a bit peckish, because I like chicken. And here they even have their own temple. Blimey, this feeding thing's not a great idea, is it? I just dropped a whole bag of food and um, one of them grabbed it and went running and I think that's all, I think that might have been what started with that scrapping, I hope not, but I think that's what it was, they just went a bit crazy fighting over these little bits of food. What if they, what if they feed them here? God, that's quite a different side to these lovely little creatures, wasn't it? It's quite a different mode to see them in. So if you, if you come to this place and you, you wear trousers, just make sure you don't wear those ones you've got with the fox food derived tassels. God, that was a bit, wow, that was. Doesn't seem to be any blood. I think this one is the strongest one, this big black and gray one. He was a real bully, he got most of the food. Different breed, of course, he is, isn't he? Perhaps he shouldn't really be in here, I don't know. Oh, he must have heard me.
Well, it would seem that after the frenzy caused by feeding them and the aftermath and all that cooling they were doing afterwards, if they were challenging each other to a fight or... Don't know, don't know what they're doing. I did ask one of them, but they're foxes. It's all calm again now, they're just all laying around now and uh, probably waiting for the next frenzy, like I am. I'm always waiting for the next frenzy. Quite busy now, there's almost as many humans as there are foxes. It's, um, yeah, so I'm glad I got here first thing this morning because I was kind of just wandering around on my own to begin with. But now it's getting very circusy with a million cameras clicking. Of course, mine being one of them. That's what you need good, clear instructions, good, clear instructions with important bits in red. That's what you need. Ideally, in a language you speak. Mm. <laughs> Silver fox. Up down on the road waiting for a bus. Just listening to the sounds. There's some lovely, there's the goats, me, me, but there's lots of birds and strange sounds. I don't know if it's frogs or something, I don't know. In the distance. Good sounds. Yeah, I've been quite lucky with this fox adventure because um, looking around on the internet doing my extensive research, i.e. going to more pages than Wikipedia, I um, kept finding the same thing. The only way to get here from Shin that that station is to was to um, get a taxi, which was about three and a half thousand yen each way. So that's seventy two hundred. What's that? That's getting them for um, fifty quid taxi there and back. Um, but when I got to the hostel, even though the guy's English was very limited, they helped me. They did their best and they helped me, and we discovered that there's a bus. A bus only runs twice a week on a Tuesday and a Friday. And guess what day I'm here? Friday! So I caught the bus out here which was 200 yen and I'm going to catch the bus back in about 15 minutes which is also going to be 200 yen. Total cost 400 yen which is about uh, £2.60. Much better. So just waiting for the bus now. I do hope it comes. What great sounds!